hi guys how are you thank you so much for coming back to my youtube channel it's your girl Daphne bridge and today i want us to talk about roxy the the hi sweetheart how are you can you tell people hi say hi say hi so guys um you've been with roxy for about uh, two months now two months now yes she's three months old i've been with roxy for about two months old but um okay let's let me first leave the part out of it roxy has brought a lot of joy in this home you know she is just so playful so beautiful so loving you know Every time we find ourselves laughing, we find ourselves running around, we find ourselves jumping. She has really brought the house to some very good lively mood, eh? which wasn't there before. So, me personally, it's my first time being with a pet in the same house. As I said in my previous video, I didn't even know I was a lover of animals until I met Roxy. We've had cats before, but I realized mm -mm, I am not a friend of cats. And I still am not sure if I like Roxy because she's cute. Look at her. Look, 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 look at that. Look at that baby. Yeah! I'm still not sure if I like Roxy because she's cute and all. Oh, if I'm really an animal lover. So now, the what um, I have one concern. It has been um, I'm the kind that never falls sick. Yes, I am never falling sick. I've been delivered. I have been healed by the blood of Jesus. But one thing kept on happening continuously for the past two months, and I know I am not sick. I will, I will never get sick. But since Roxy came, there has been this persistent cough. Eh? It doesn't like make you sick, doesn't make you do anything. Like you don't even feel bad when you're having that cough. You know when sometimes people have cough and their throats are paining, their chests are paining and all that. It's not what is happening. Yes, I have been having a lot of cough, a lot of flu, and I am wondering, am I allergic to this girl? <laughs> I mean, have you seen her face? Have you seen how beautiful this girl is? Yeah. Have you seen how beautiful that girl is? Could it be true that really it is an allergy? Could it be an allergy really? I don't know. Maybe you guys who have had pets for some time are able to tell me this. Because what have you done about it? Because the vet, the vet told us that uh, she's going to be shedding skin for some months. Like... What do they call this? This white thing? This one? This one? This one? What is it? Is it skin fur? <laughs> okay, let's call it fur. She's, either she's going to be shedding fur for, a, for some time until she grows up a little bit, then it will stop. Hmm? She's normally on me. Wherever I'm sitting, she will come and find me. Even if, she, if, if I'm sitting on a chair like this one where she cannot climb, She'll make sure at least she's around my legs as near as I am, as near to me as possible. Even when I'm going somewhere around the house, you'll see her following me. So a lot of her, whatever that is, that white thing <laughs> keeps on, you know, shedding. Eh? And sometimes I, I find it a lot on my body. A lot on my body. I don't know if you can see those white, white things on me. They are everywhere. You see her? You see? She never stays on her own. They are everywhere. And I'm, I think maybe I've been breathing in a lot of this. Maybe I've been breathing in a lot of this because I find myself coughing. I find myself sneezing. I don't have the natural cold that people say they, they are having. What is this? I really want to be sure that I am not allergic to my baby. And if I am, how do I get rid of it? How do I get rid of it? How has it happened to you people? Did you ever have um, Japanese beets? And how long did it take to to stop shedding all these kind of things, all these kind of fat? It is everywhere. Yeah? It is everywhere. We just love her so much that we, we cannot stay away from her. But <laughs> wherever she is, and she scratches herself, eh? you're going to see it everywhere. Now on the 
chair you see she's everywhere on the chair everywhere is white 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 and we know she's not the kind that is supposed to sleep outside the house because it would make us feel like we are not good bed owners you see we love her so much but the whole house has been coughing the kids are coughing they are not sick we are not sick but we are coughing eh? we are coughing so it's a little bit of concern maybe you guys have had this experience and you'd like to share i'll be really glad to hear from you i'll be really glad to take in your your, your words and see how we can solve this out anyway roxy yeah see how this lake queen acts now she's all lying down like she doesn't care roxy say bye bye let me see let me see. Say bye bye to people. Say bye bye. Let me see. Ah. See? She likes these things. She likes being belly rubbed. Eh? Let me see. See? See, she will do anything for that. Can you say bye bye to people? Say bye bye to people. Say bye. See you next time. So guys, see you next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for subscribing. Those who haven't, please subscribe. Eh? Subscribe and let's have these talks. You know, this is an all-round channel. I am not yet going to station it on one thing. I want to talk about all the things that a Christian girl goes through. All the things that we Christian girls face. Because at the end of the day, we are really girls like all the other girls. But what sets us aside? What makes us different? Even in marriage, you are going to do the same things that other women do. What is what is that one thing that we should do separately, that we should do that others don't do? Or if they are doing it, how do we do it perfectly? Or do we need to do everything that others do? Please subscribe and we shall get to know more about this. As for now, please leave a comment and tell me what you think. Is it Roxy making us sick or <laughs> it is just something else? Otherwise, it's your girl, Daphne Bridge. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Mwah.